This year I'll probably go to the awards that were there. Watch Iggy lose the Grammy as a nigga crack a snap. I'll just put Booming King Fool again. It's here guys, it is here, the moment I have been waiting for since I was like 10 years old, I've been wanting one of these and I finally pulled the trigger. So I, I'm just gonna come up with a special way to unbox it, how should I unbox it? I'm trying to find something, we're gonna unbox it with a lint roller, <laughs> okay let's try this out. Super excited. If you didn't watch yesterday's vlog, I asked you guys, because I got a few packages coming this week. I asked you guys how I should unbox things, like special ways and like unique ways. I got the idea from some guy named Christopher. He's a skater on YouTube. I don't know his last name, but he unboxes stuff. Uh, he unboxed one thing with the magnifying glass and the sun. It was pretty dope. And then he unboxed with chopsticks. And it actually works. Look, there we go. We got it unboxed. <gasps> oh, okay, I can't. Okay, I'm gonna have to look at this and then show it to you guys. I told you guys months ago that I will be the world heavyweight champion. And now, like I have said, the champ is here <laughs> oh, no! ladies and gentlemen i present to you my world heavyweight championship belt look at that thing <laughs> i've wanted one of these since i was a little kid and it just feel, it makes you feel like you have so much power. And why did I get it? You guys are thinking like, why did you waste your money on that? You can't put a price on childhood memories, okay? This is like, I feel like walking into the gym with this every day just to get my confidence up and just to make myself feel like, damn, like I'm the man, you know what I'm saying? So I just bought this as a sign of, you know, motivation, you know? To get to the top of my dreams. You know what I'm saying? So, oh, I don't know if you guys understand like what I'm trying to say right now, but when I look at this, it just makes me want to like make my dreams a reality. Even if it, it's not even like being a pro wrestler, it's like my career dreams or anything like that. You know what I'm saying? So it just makes you feel on top of the world. So I don't know if you guys understand where I'm coming from, but the champ is here, baby. Feeling like Seth Rollins, I feel like I just cashed in my money in the bank and I got my championship. I needed this for a video too, hint, hint. And, uh, damn. I should just, I'm just gonna vlog with this every day, just like wake up and be like, what's up guys, the champ is here again. And, uh, I'm just feeling like the man right now. Yeah. Let's just be honest, my bae's going everywhere with me now. And we ain't putting on the seatbelt. Let's just be real. Alright guys, I just lost, but I don't know if it's the new shoes or what, but my knee is killing me. I wrapped it up with my headband, which doesn't really do anything. Maybe it's the pink socks, I don't know. But my knee's in pain right now. This is like a little pain, like right here. Hopefully it doesn't turn into anything major, but nobody gives a damn about your knee, but look at that. What's up guys, so I just left the gym. Wasn't feeling it today, man. My knee was killing me for some reason. I don't know, I've never had knee problems. Shut up, Harris. And, um... Yeah, man, it was just annoying me, and I just kept, like, it was frustrating me, so I just left. We're just having a one-on-one -on -one talk right now, guys. I hope you guys appreciate this talk right now, so. I guess, um, I don't know. Nothing. 
Oh, tomorrow I'm going to start shooting this weekend's video, which I could tell you guys by now, it is going to be Sneakerheads Be Like Part 3. Now, usually when you make a part 2 or part 3 of a video or of a movie or a song or whatever it is, it's never as good as the first one, you know what I'm saying? But when it comes to the sneakerhead videos, there's so much that you can target that each one of them is really good. I think this one is going to be way better than the first one and the second one because the ideas I have for this one are hilarious and they are so relatable, hashtag relatable. So just a heads up, Sneakerheads Be Like Part 3 is coming out this Sunday. I farted. And I need everyone's ongoing support because we want this to go viral like the other two did. The other two are doing amazing. One of them's almost at a mill. What's going on? You know, I got the WWE Monday Night Raw going on downstairs. The Miz getting chased down by Big Show. RKO! 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 BAM! Pin him! Ref didn't see it. Right back going up top. Game over. One, two, three. Anyway, oh uh, yeah, sneakerheads be like, you know damn well I'm throwing the Yeezys and sneakerheads be like, Boomers, feed me more. Suicide Squad trailer was insane. Did you guys see that? Oh my God, I got goosebumps. 2016's the year of villain movies. Woo! Well, not really, but it's the year of good movies. Like we gotta wait a whole year. I hate how they release tra trailers a year before movies come out. We got Star Wars at the end of this year. We got Avengers, I believe, next year, right? Is it next year or 2017? I don't know, man. I always, I always hear these movies, and I'm like, I'm gonna be dead by then, or I'm gonna be alive. So hopefully, I get to be alive and I get to watch it. That's a horrible mindset. But anyway, this is going on too long, guys. How, how long is this? Like. Almost six minutes or six minutes? Okay. Bye. Subwood so fam. How you been fam? World champ fam. Uh, today's Tuesday. Yesterday was Monday. The first half of this vlog was Monday. Um, I decided to combine the two days because yesterday was kind of a dull day. And I just didn't want to post that dull day. So, um, first things first. Those shoes are trash. I'm gonna be returning those, so I actually did. Um, I don't know, man. This is probably the worst Kobe that's come out since the fives. And the five, no, the fives are good. This is one of the worst Kobe's, period. It looks cool. It looks dope. I really like the design and everything, but they're not comfortable on the court. I hated the low tops, and I hate these. Like, they were comfortable, but they were just so hard to break in and so stiff back here. They're going right back to the box, and they're getting returned. If you guys didn't know, Nike gives you 30 days to test out your shoes. So even though they weren't worn, you can still return them. So... Taking these motherfuckers back and I'm going back to my fuck you phone. But I'm getting ready to go to the gym and run some errands. And then, sorry for the bad angle. And then, um, going to the Big Sean concert tonight, man. Super excited to go see my boy, Sean Don. He's not my boy, but one of my inspirations. I'm gonna see Sean Don. I might go to the concert like this. So I'm going to go see Sean Don tonight and J. Cole and YG. I don't really care about YG, but he's going. he has some slappers. So it's going to be lit, as the kids say these days. Um, yeah, man, I'm super excited. I bought my tickets in February, so I've been waiting like five months for this. So Forest Hills Drive Tour tonight, baby. We are in there. Bam! Bruh. The train tracks just went down. I was about to pull a Fast and Furious, you feel me? And cut. Oh, look at this dude right now. Oh. The highlight of my day. Um, so you guys are gonna be really mad at me, but um, 
I'm not gonna take my vlog camera to the Big Sean concert and J. Cole concert. Um, it's just something that I didn't want to, it's just something that I, uh, cause you know, first of all, last concert I went to, they wouldn't even let me take my camera in, so I had to go walk all the way back to my car. So, I prefer to just leave the camera at home tonight. You know, I'll get some footage on my phone for sure for you guys. So, um, yeah, man. But let me show you guys what I'm rocking with. You know, I'm rocking with the Big Sean Adidas. So, definitely, this is a must. I take the insoles out because they're not the most comfortable shoe. And I'm throwing in my Nike running shoe. And I don't know if I should wear this hat or if I should wear my crew hat. That's right there. But, ooh, baby. I wish I had the other two Adidas Big Sean collabs, but I don't. But, yeah, I'm about to throw these on. And then I'm headed out. And I also can't really show you who I'm going with because... Times are changing, you know what I'm saying? So, <laughs> alright, uh, bye guys. I'll see you guys when I get back from the show. Well, I, I'll, be, I'll have my phone, so I'll get a few things for you guys. So, this isn't goodbye. It's YG About this song right here. The name of the song is called San Jope, right? That's the name of the song. But Bay Area, I'ma keep it honest with y'all tonight. I'ma be very honest when I tell y'all this. I don't even know where the fuck San Jope is at. On the fucking map. If you paid me a million dollars right now, I couldn't point to that bitch on the fucking map. But what I do know is Central like Page seems like the type of place that really rich people go when they got a lot of fucking money, am I right? When they want to go like vacation on a yacht be photographed on some blue water with champagne glasses and bikinis. Seem like that type of place. Point straight up at my nigga. And sing this shit. First things first, what's a piece of the... For sure. The booming king of food again. It's a man right now. He got millions of fucking dollars. He got a billion dollars. He got everything that we think we need. He got the money. He got the big ass crib. He got the genetically unattainable wife. He got everything that we think is the perfect life, right? But yet somehow this dude is 
fucking miserable, right? But yet you got families, or you got a family right now that come from where we come from, worse conditions than where we come from, they couldn't afford a ticket to this fucking show right now. But yet somehow, they got more happiness and joy in their lives than this man will ever have in his. Now how? Bay Area, how is that possible? He got everything we think we need, and they ain't got shit, but yet they happier than him. What do they got that he don't got? What do they got that he don't got? Not smart, man. Alright guys, don't mind my white arms and my cut shirt. Um, I just got home from the concert. <sighs> Forest Hills Drive Tour was lit. Okay, so let me show you guys everything that I got because since I had VIP tickets, um, which were like the first five rows, all were considered VIP. First things first. Rest in peace, sucker fail. If it wants to focus, right there. The J. Cole Forest Hills Drive Tour VIP. We got that. Like something that's actually useful. Like you put your headphones in there, your iPod or whatever, little bag. And then they gave this. Which is kind of pointless, but it's cool, whatever. That's like a blue bandana that I'm not going to use. And it just says J. Cole in the middle. They didn't give any Big Sean stuff, which kind of sucks. And then this is the back. It says Mountain View, California. So they gave that. And then, oh, they gave these glasses that say J. Cole Tour 2015. So all the VIP stuff. That's pretty much for J. Cole. And then uh, let me show you guys the tour merch that I bought. Uh, I bought this straight up plain Dreamville tee. You know, I'm not the biggest J. Cole fan. I mean, I started listening to him when he came out with Friday Night Lights, but you know, I just wanted to get one cool shirt to kind of rep it. So I got the Dreamville shirt. Shouts out to J. Cole, he's a really cool guy. We met him last time he was in the Bay. And then we got the Paradise t-shirt, which is printed horribly. It's crooked as hell, but it's still sick. And then on the back it says Big Sean, his signature, and then Dark Sky Paradise 2015. So this one's pretty dope. I got this one for Harris too, so. They're performing actually in uh, Staples Center this Sunday. And Jamie the Grey has an extra ticket, so I might pull a fast little mission and go to that show. We'll see what happens, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, um, hope you guys enjoyed this two-day vlog, even though it wasn't the best. Let me put this back on my shoulder. Even though it wasn't the best, I am your World Heavyweight Champion, Kais. I would definitely and most, start that over, I will definitely appreciate it if you guys help me out by giving it a thumbs up and sharing it and shouts out to the people who are posting on their Instagram and Snapchat and all the Twitter and everything that telling their followers to check out QOP, check out Crew TV, because those are the people that, you know, really want to see Crew Kicks launch and who really are loyal, loyal Dream Crew members. So don't think uh, your support doesn't go unnoticed. Um, I see it all. I see all the tweets. I see all the tags. I might not reply to everything But I do see it, you know, and I'm sorry. I'll try to reply to more of you guys more of you guys Because um, I want to have that connection with you guys I don't want to be that guy that never replies to his homies, you know doesn't reply to his crew So fam we got to do this together You know we go into the top QOP Say what you want it doesn't matter, it doesn't phase me. You can guys, you, I hear, I hear the voices in my head when I do achieve what I wanna achieve in my life. <clears throat> I'm never gonna forget who you guys are, the people who really supported my dreams. And um, my dreams go bigger than YouTube, for despite what you guys, some people think, they think that I'm out here just, have, I have goals to reach a certain amount of subscribers. No, I have goals to be able to put food on the plate of my family, of my future kids, you know, buy my parents' cars, buy my parents' houses. 
Now I'm not going to tell you, I've, I've said this before, I'm not going to tell you guys exactly what major decisions I've made that are going to be coming up in the future, but stick with the crew, stick with me, and you will see in the next few months why I am the world heavyweight champion. And I will remain the world heavyweight champion. You see me on the small screen right now, right? The computer screen. Well, there's only one more screen that I'm able to conquer, and I'm going for it. That's all I could say. World Heavyweight Champion Q, I'm out of here. Comment down below what my wrestling name would be if I was a pro wrestler. Random note. Love you guys. Crew TV, Crew Fam, I'm out of here. Looking at the frame, they don't see my vision Pictures always change, but I stay on my mission Got the same goal They ain't feeling what I'm doing, but I'm coming at them from a different angle This is real life You don't know what I feel like Got a lot of voices in my